Ladies and gentlemen, what's crack a locking? How y'all doing? And welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get into an unlimited bot lobby glitch so you can grind that DMU camo. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice and easy peasy here, guys. And if any time you enjoy the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, you're going to want to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications. With all that being said, let's get into this bot lobby. Come on, baby. Let's go. All right, my friends. So the first thing that we have to go ahead and do here is set up a game mode and save it as a custom game mode. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right and now. Let's get into it. So we're going to scroll all the way down here in multiplayer into custom games. We're going to go ahead and click on this. Now, once we've clicked on it, there's a few things that we got to go ahead and switch up here. One being the game mode and the other one being some of the game rules. Now, the game mode that we want to switch this to is gunfight. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and we're going to click on just make sure it's the regular gunfight here. We're going to go ahead, click on this and then go over to the right. And it says gunfight 3v3 or gunfight. We're going to go ahead and choose gunfight on this one. So go ahead and click on gunfight. Confirm. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and edit our game rules. All right. So once you've gone ahead and clicked on that, you're going to have this menu right here. And it says settings and restrictions. So you're just going to go ahead here and look at the summary that I have here on the right hand side. I will zoom it in for you guys right now. So you guys can see the exact settings that I have here. So again, the mode is gunfight your uh, win conditions so your time limit is going to be unlimited extra time disabled in the advanced section you're going to have capture time one second rounds per loadout disabled a spy plane enabled spawn a number of lives per player unlimited gameplay here a mini map a constant kill cam never show the kill cam score streaks uh delay is disabled your general for health is 35 your sprint recovery delay is zero seconds Custom classes, so you're going to have your custom classes enabled and your score streaks, you're going to have the harp at 100. So again, just make sure you go ahead and click on your settings here and then you guys could go through everything here. Win conditions, advanced, spawn, gameplay, and then you could go over into your player and then general custom classes and score streaks. That's how you guys are going to switch everything up. And then once we back out here, it says this screen right here, a discard unsaved changes. We're going to go ahead and we're going to save this. So go ahead, press save. We're going to change the name and change it to whatever you guys want. I'm just going to keep it at custom game one and I'm going to go ahead and click save. OK, so next thing that we're going to be doing here is the host. So the person who wants to get the camos is going to go ahead here into versus bots. Now, the non host is just going to stay in his multiplayer menu. That is it. Just stay there for now. So us being the host, as you guys see here on the big screen, we're going to go ahead into versus bots. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and hit our options button or our settings button. And it should bring up this menu right here. OK, so the next thing we got to do here is have the non host send us three invites. So that's what I'm going to have done right now. Here's the first one. We're going to view the invite, go to view player details, and then we're going to wait for the second one here. So view invite, view player details. And then on the third one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to accept the invite. So accept. Now, once we accepted the third and final invite here, so the first two, we're just viewing player details and then accepting the third one. We're going to wait till we've joined party here. Then we're going to go ahead and hit our settings button, so our options button. And now what the non-host is doing is she's going to back out and bring a party. So she's backing out, bring party. It's going to get rid of the screen. we got to hit settings one more time. Bring up our settings menu. Now she's going to go ahead into a private match of Outbreak. So she's clicking on private match, Outbreak. Once she's done so, it's going to kick you out just like, like you guys seen right there. It's going to kick you out. Now she's just got to wait. So the non-host is waiting until the game time starts. So the countdown, once the countdown starts, she's going to go ahead and back out. So she's going to leave alone. And then that's going to make us the host. And then she's going to rejoin back up. So right there, she's just left the party alone. Now we're just simply going to wait until she joins back up. And then that's when we got to do a few things on our end. Now, once you have noticed the non host join back the game, you'll see that here shortly in a couple seconds. We're just waiting for Wolfie to join back up. All right. Once the non host is joined back up like so, we got to hit team deathmatch here. Go to change map. We got to either click on sanatorium or Golova. Confirm that. We're going to go ahead, click on it again. Make sure our team deathmatch is clicked on. Start match. 
So from here, just dismiss this. Now we got to go into our social. We got to go to manage a party and we're going to leave the party. So leave party. Yes, perfect. Leave the party. You left the party. That's exactly what we're looking for, guys. Now, if done correctly, once it loads in here, you guys will see sanatorium team deathmatch. That is perfect. That's exactly what we want. So we just got to wait for the game to load in here. And then what we're both going to do is hold a grenade. And then we're going to down ourselves. That way there we get into the same spawn location as each, as each other. So we're just waiting until it loads in. We're going to wait until the timer says 950. At 950, I'm going to go ahead and hold my Semtex or my grenade. And I'm going to down myself. So right like so, I'm going to hold this. I'm going to down myself. And the non-host is doing this as well. So as you guys can see right here, we're both at the same location now. So I could just go ahead and do whatever it is that I want to do. Headshots, everything, guys. You're going to get all your camos. This is an epic OP glitch. Now, there is a second step to this to get it unlimited. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're just going to wait. We're going to play this out. We're going to let the timer go down. And then I'm going to show you guys the step to go ahead and have this unlimited. So if you guys don't want to wait for the whole match to play out, you could go ahead and just quit the match. That'll be fine as well, guys, to get into the unlimited part of this. So just go ahead, quit out, or you guys could get the kills and stuff that you guys want. Okay, so once you guys have backed out or you've ended the game or whatnot, you should see this screen right here. It should say multiplayer. And then as you guys can see, we got Forsaken, Forsaken round 20, Mauer. So we kind of like glitch things out right here, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want. So from here, what we got to do is we got to go down to custom games. And if you guys remember, I showed you guys how to save a custom game. So we're going to go ahead here and click on custom games. And what's happening right now is the non-host is just clicking on custom games. And that is it for the non-host. That's all the non-host needs to do right now. Now from here, once we've clicked on that, guys, from here, we're going to go ahead and change mode. So we're going to click on change mode. Now this is just the host. The non-host is just sitting in the customs games menu. That is it. So we're going to go ahead here, change mode, and then we're going to go over to my saved. And this is the one that we saved earlier. Remember with the summary, the description right there on the right hand side, that's everything that we saved right there. So we're just going to be hovering over custom game one right now or whatever it is that you guys named it. All right. So at this point, you got to have the non-host send four invites. So this is what we're going to do. First invite, we're going ahead and view player details. Same with the second invite. So second invite, view player details. Now, on the third invite, we're just going to hover over accept. So here comes the third one. We're going to stay right here. We're going to wait for the fourth invite. Now, on the fourth invite, we're going to accept this one and then start spamming triangle. Now, once we're spamming triangle here, it's going to bring us into like the view player details again and accept right here. So we're just going to once we're in here, guys, all we got to do is go ahead and leave. So we just hit our, our O button or circle, whatever it is for you guys. And it should bring up our social menu right here, which is perfect. That's what we want. Now, what's happening here is the non-host is going to back out into like into the zombies and she is going into onslaught containment. And when she's doing this, she's going to go ahead and wait until the timer starts. So right now she just clicked on onslaught containment and she's starting up the game. Once the game timer starts, she's going to go ahead and back out and then rejoin as quick as possible, just like before you guys. So that's what we're going to wait for right here. So Wolfie just left the party. Now we are party host. Now she's joining back up as quick as possible here. Once she's done so, we're going to go ahead and click our custom game one and then into our social menu here. So join the party. Perfect. We're going to click on custom games one, social menu, manage party, and we're going to go ahead and leave the party. So leave party just like that. We left the party. Now we're going to be on separate teams. This is perfect. Just wait for our time remaining to go down and all will be good to go, you guys. As you can see here, we're going into U-Ban. We're both on separate teams, just like you guys seen right there. We're loading into the match. Guys, this is epic. It is crazy. You guys get your DMU in no time. I promise you, this is amazing. Now, once the game is loaded in, guys, what you're going to want to do is have the non-host go ahead and kill the host at least 30 times. That way there, if, if the non-host wants, she could go AFK or whoever you're doing it with. And go afk and all will be good super awesome excellent here you guys all right so once the non-host is done killing you those 30 times the non-host could go ahead and go afk if they would like and then at this point guys bob's your uncle you guys go ahead and kill the the host as many times as you guys want do what you got to do uh where is she over here so we're gonna go over here 
And then we're going to start grinding for our camos, baby. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I know it's a little long, guys. It's a little tedious, but trust me, it definitely pays off. We could go ahead here now, guys, for like at least two hours and uh, take out the non-host as much as we want. Do whatever we need to do to grind those camos. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button to keep my algorithm real. Subscribe to that bell notification on so you don't miss any of my awesome, excellent videos. Get in the game. Glitch something out. Have some fun. Until next time, I'm the Puff Man. Peace out.